Hey everyone, uh, this will be a Mazda B3000 part one. Uh, just got my Amazon order in right here. And take a look. See all the nice, good stuff we just got. Got some waterproof connectors for light bars and pods. Uh, Hopefully this works. Oh. Hole looks a little bit smaller than my um, sensor for my temperature gauge. Oh. Got a central locking system to install. Got a push button start system for to install. Because you always need relays. So I figured might as well grab a bunch. Got a scan tool. Make sure a coworker of mine has this exact one. That's what inspired me to get this one pretty nice little setup but yeah. and today is saturday so we're gonna be uh working on the mazda we got a couple things to install so let's open these bad boys up now, I probably won't go through everything. Uh, highlight a couple of things. Oh, there's a diagram right there. Picked up all this on Amazon for cheap. I think this was 20 bucks. This was 30. So, nice little setup. I only have two doors, so I'll only use this one, which is the main, and probably this one, and save these other two. And then this was my big deal because I needed keys broke off in my ignition so you can turn it on without really needing a key so I've been planning on doing this for a while it's not the uh, auto start one or remote start one it's just push button start so let's get to it I'm gonna grab some uh, tools and then we'll pick it back up in the truck so we're back here in the truck. Uh, so we'll have to take off this, take out the dash. I'm also going to be replacing most of my dash lights with this because you can't see, literally only half my lights work. I already replaced the lights in the heater controls with LED that makes a huge difference so and we also got to take off the door panels to install the lock actuators everything is uh, 
now a nice blue and that's just with white LEDs but now you can actually see the entire dash obviously it's the middle of the day but at night time when I'm coming home from work sometimes I'll be able to actually see so one thing done uh, I guess we'll move on to uh, push button ignition and the uh, door lock so let me finish this all right so we got the key out the ignition got the little lock off so this is what starts it it so that's that's off off there's radio on that's power on and if I push it all away that's start now it is it's guided by that little right here the way to get the ignition out is you pry up on this little plunger right there but you have to be able to turn the ignition for that to be able to uh all right before i finish wrapping this up so my uh airbag light and my abs light was staying on and then both this both these wires the yellow and gray need to be hooked up to the same wire on the module and after I did that boom ABS light and airbag light was off, turned off so I'm gonna get finished wrapping this up finding a good area to tuck it into and then move on to the door lock actuators I just have to run the wire figure out where I want the module so here's a module with the antenna I'm gonna try and figure out somewhere I can put this so the antenna is either in one of the pillars or something along those lines so that way you get the best range because if you have it up underneath your dash obviously you're not gonna get very good range yeah so now when I'm done with that I'll videotape it all right guys i'm back i had to go to AutoZone, get some more parts i was mostly looking for a momentary switch to for the lock and unlock button inside the cab but they really didn't have one i liked so i got a three position toggle switch for lock unlock got a fuel filter because Mazda really needs a fuel filter and an antenna because when I bought the truck there was no antenna and I can't listen to music or the radio at all so but here's a little switch that came with the actuators and you can tell unlock lock unlock lock unlock so Sika Sika! Jesus fuck dog. Okay. Well, she now has her own spot in the truck. And the truck is a mess, but let's get back to it. Oh, one thing I do want to point out. So the guy I bought this from super glued the knob onto this. And it was upside down. So, I ended up breaking it off. I'm gonna have to get a new one of those. There is a lot of broken stuff on this dash though. Most of these little pins that are supposed to keep a hold of those metal things are broken off. Um, yeah, there's broken stuff everywhere, but let's get back to it. I'm just gonna run some cables 
to the door, figure out a place to put the module. Yeah. So, uh, let you guys know with update.